this should probably be, there's kind of two aspects here. I'm kind of jumping back and forth between the two, so. The flow of a user request through Start Page starts obviously with them coming to our website and typing a query into the search box. The query, the request that the user enters on our page goes to a set of servers that we own and operate that anonymizes as much of the request as possible. So as far as they're concerned, it's really just a, a, it's a Start Page server making the request on someone's behalf. So we send them just enough information that they can actually fulfill the request, but they don't have any information about what the user is that made the request. There's no user ID information, there's no cookie information that has any tracking IDs in it, that sort of thing. The IP address is not forwarded along. I often find that a lot of the features that we build out on Start Page, especially with all the different verticals that you'll see on web, like shopping, like this, like images or maps, you've seen it done before in all these search engines. However, we're doing it in a different way. Some of the more important things are, you know, what requires location tracking. Searching up weather, right? Um, usually when you like type in weather near me, you're expecting weather near you. But if we don't track that information def by default, we're gonna have a hard time figuring that out. We have a general idea where the, the general area you're searching from, for example, let's say you live in the greater Los Angeles area, will give you data from like the center of LA. So we can go more specific into that by actually asking for your location. If you want to share your location with us, then it'll be obviously better results. Um, but that's up to the user. One hoop that we jump through is making sure that all of our image uh, tags are proxied through startpage.com. Right click a page and say inspect element. You can then go to the network tab on the little um, toolbox that pops up and uh, see actually all of the requests, and you can see that all of them go through startpage.com. That's sort of the content aspect of it. And then on our side, we also um, don't log any of this information. The IP address is not logged. The query is not logged. Uh, that's an interesting subtlety because we have to pass the query to content uh, providers in order to fulfill the request, but we don't have to log it. There's no reason to actually maintain that information. Sometimes there are bugs that are like specific to queries. We don't log those, so it's really hard to tell. Like the product manager will ask, how many people are encountering this bug? And I, I don't know. I have no way of knowing. There's no way that anybody could take advantage of uh, leaks or you know like a split process because we're applying the same rules to ourselves. If you were on your phone and then you moved to your computer, we don't know if that's one person, if that's two people, we are purely looking at what is going on within a session and then as soon as you leave your session, Start Page has no way of knowing any time you return. Sort of the advantage of approaching it that way is if you don't log the information, then you can't provide it, right? As far as I know, we're the only search engine that does not log information like IP address and query. Typically with most websites and most platforms, it's a lot cheaper and faster to hire a third party team to go out and manage that. When you look at ours, it goes to our data center, IP space owned by Startpage. With our own internal backend infrastructure, we're really trying to have that end-to-end -end control, make it faster, make it a better experience, but also are serving from our own data centers and everything and build it out in a way that's not only fast and smart, but encrypted as we want and secure for our users. Of course, we do need to make money. So we have contextual ads on the Start Page site. Contextual ads are only based off of the query that you typed in, meaning anyone searching for puppies online is gonna see the same ads as anyone else in the world. This helps keep you safe but also it does help us make money in a way that is still privacy friendly and privacy observing. Look at the ads call in the network tab and you'll see information that says like the user height and the user width of the, the device that you're using. What we do is then we obfuscate it on the server side. We fudge the numbers essentially. Anything that's personally identifiable to you will just not, uh, not be visible to them. But if you use another search engine where you're logged in, you have an email address, they can see all of your behavior across all of your devices. A lot of companies default to collect the data, build a model, we'll figure out how to monetize it. Startpage on the other hand is more focused on the user, focused on our value proposition of privacy, and then we have to explicitly have a business use case 
and weigh that against the privacy aspect of what we collect. Having only contextual ads means that you do make less money than having behavioral ads, but we're willing to make that sacrifice on the revenue side in order to have a very strong brand promise because that's why people are coming. If we started not doing that, people wouldn't come to StartPage anymore. So we're willing to, to have that trade-off. Thank you.